fragments, also known as broken stuff. Have you ever heard the word fragment? A fragment means a piece of something. It means it's broken. It is not complete. You wouldn't want just a fragment of a cookie. And if you write in sentence fragments, your grade will be broken too. A sentence fragment is a broken sentence. It is not a complete sentence. Think for a moment about the last couple of weeks. What does a sentence need to be complete? Are these complete sentences? I'd better fix these before we go on. Every complete sentence needs a subject and a predicate. So a sentence fragment is missing one or both of these things. It's easy to tell if this sentence is missing something, but when there's more going on, it's easier to leave something out. Let's take a look at how it might happen. When we talk, we often don't use complete sentences, especially if we're answering a question. What are you doing? Your mom asks. Going to the skate park with Jenny, you answer. You've communicated with your mother without a problem, but only because she already knows she's talking to you. Clearly, what you meant is, I'm going to the skate park with Jenny. If you're going to write it down, you need to include the subject again. Sometimes a person doesn't decide what their sentence is doing before they start writing. On the bus, going to the football game after school is not a complete sentence. This is something that you might say or write if you aren't paying attention. Who or what is on the bus? Did something happen there? Lots of things could happen on that bus, but you haven't told me what did happen. The driver panicked on the bus going to the football game after school. The cheerleaders talked on the bus going to the football game after school. Even just, the athletes were on the bus going to the football game after school, makes a complete sentence. Make sure you have a verb, even if it's only a be verb. Sometimes a person is trying to sound smart, so they write a sentence that gets too complicated and they lose track of what's going on. Don't be this guy. By paying too much attention to polls can make a political leader unwilling to propose innovative policies. I'm not even going to try to fix this. If you don't understand your sentence, who will? Sometimes, though, you're probably going to realize you've written a sentence fragment. Let's take a look at some fragments and decide what it would take to make them complete sentences. Mr. Remick, the social studies teacher and cross-country running coach. It's pretty clear who we're talking about, but there's nothing happening in this sentence. Really, you may have said everything you wanted to say here. Let's add a be verb. Mr. Remick is the social studies teacher and cross-country running coach. If all you're trying to do is describe someone or something, don't forget those be verbs. Went to grandma's, watched Tiger King, and drew pictures on masks. I hope this isn't the beginning and end of your How I Spent the Summer of 2020 essay. First, even bad television series names need to be capitalized. Now, there are plenty of verbs happening here, so we're good for a predicate. But who did these things? When you're writing about yourself, don't forget to include yourself. I went to grandma's, watched Tiger King, and drew pictures on masks. After the rain. Take a look at this. Can you find something happening? Can you find a person or thing that isn't part of a description? This doesn't have a subject or a predicate. It's explaining when something will happen, but we don't know what will happen or what will do it. This fragment needs to be attached to a whole sentence with its own subject and predicate. I will mow the lawn after the rain. My dad will go for a bike ride after the rain. After the rain, Mrs. Gorf will melt. Always make sure you know who's doing what in your sentence.